Minico Plus version 5, the Runtime Manager and the Multi-Run Manager are integrated into one tool. This makes it easy to see general calculation features like the name of the output object that you will be creating as well as the type of multi-run calculation that you'll be performing all in a single glance. Multi-run calculations assume that you have created a system using the Select Components tool and to find your system using the Tableau or Calculation Wizards. This provides a template in which one or more parameters will be changed to create a multi-run calculation. Parameters that can be changed include fixed ions, including pH, the partial pressure of gases, total concentrations, equilibrium constants of any species, enthalpy values of any species, and special parameters like temperature, ionic strength, and in some surface models, parameters like surface area or solids concentration. Multi-run calculations are broken down into three categories in Minicool Plus. There are titrations, two-way analysis, and field data. Just as the name suggests, a titration is used to simulate the titration of a solution with an acid, base, or other compound, or even a fixed ion like pH. A titration can simulate the change in up to three variables at one time. Each variable will have a beginning, an ending value, and then you set the number of points you want to have in between. The titration performs a calculation at each of these points. The first variable establishes the number of points on the titration. Each additional titrating variable has to conform to this initial number of points. For example, titrating a system with sodium bicarbonate would require three components to be selected as multi-run variables, sodium, proton, and carbonate. The calculation would proceed so that the multi-run variables are incremented together as a dependent system. A two-way analysis also generates synthetic input data, but unlike a titration, the multi-run parameters can be varied independently from each other. Things start out the same as with a titration. There's a beginning point, an ending point, and points in between. But with the addition of the second multi-run parameter, things get a little different. The second parameter also has a beginning point, an ending point, and points in between, forming a matrix of output values. For a titration, you produce n number of points. For a two-way analysis, you produce a n times m matrix of points. A titration allows you to simulate observed phenomena. A two-way analysis allows you to simulate that phenomena under a range of conditions and see the sensitivity of that phenomena to other factors. A field data analysis is a term used in MiniQ Plus to any multi-run calculation that addresses data from an external file. The file could indeed hold data from field work but it could be laboratory data or multi-run simulations that are more adaptive to your specific needs than Minihoo Plus's titration or two-way analysis can provide. Basically, any simulation is possible using the field data option. The external file must be a text file and in row column format. The file can be in free format with spaces separating the columns. Each column represents a parameter you want to vary for instance, pH or total concentration. Each row in the file is an individual observation to be calculated. For MiniQ Plus, all that is required is to tell the software what parameter is located in what column. There's no specific limit to the number of rows you can have in the files, although the number of columns is limited to 25. From these simple approaches, a wide range of simulations are possible. We'll go into the graphics representations for all these in a separate video. MiniQ Plus has a lot of features that allow you to have better insight and control in simulating chemical equilibrium. And if you need more information or tutorials on MiniQ Plus, visit minicule.com.